Woohoo! I'm happy. I'm happy. I want to make the kids happy. I love kids. I love kids. I'm the CEO of Children's Educational Network. Now our next guest is Tim Gavin, and he rides in his little moped. He's coming in. He's having a blast. This guy's got a great idea. He's got an ice cream cart on a moped. Yeah, I love it. Dingling, dingling. The kids run up. They're happy. He gets on there, and this guy looks so nervous. He was shaking in his shoes. The sharks were eating him for lunch. He didn't have a clue about his money, his numbers, his profits, where he's going, how he's doing, how he's franchising. And again, he's another one of these guys that you're just going, they put him on television to make him the laughing stock of the country. Now, I want to say, Tim, congratulations. You're an incredible individual. You got a dream, you got a vision, you're going for it. And I don't care what those guys say. You got a great idea. And you know what? There are hundreds, if not thousands, of people around the world that would love to make 25, 50 grand a year driving around neighborhoods, making kids happy, selling them ice cream. So you keep on your dream, you keep going. You use the internet to get your stuff out there. Get the right stuff. Go to CEOspace.net. Get involved in a group of CEOs that will help you, that put their arm around you and help you get to where you're going. Don't let those sharks deter you. Because we saw what you said, but see, you got there, you got to be prepared. If you're going to get in front of investors, if you're going to get in front of check writers, if you're going to ask for money, you better know your numbers. You better have the money. You better have all the questions answered. And they want to know how they're getting their money out. Preservation of capital, return on capital, and return on investment. So these different terms, you got to learn them, and you better be able to answer them from A to Z. Don't go, don't go ill prepared when you get in front of check writers. It happens over and over and over and over and over and over again. And the investors could not figure out how they were going to get their money back. Now, if you said we're going to go franchising, we're going to sell 15 franchises per city, we're going to go across the states. We, we believe we can put on 1,000, 1,500 franchises, and we've partnered with an ice cream company. This ice cream company is going to supply our ice cream. We're going to make our franchises buy ice cream from us. That's where the, the recurring revenue is going to come from. And blah, 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 blah. Because they're like, anybody can buy a moped and make it into an ice cream cart. And you're like, can they? Can they? Well, yeah, sure. A lot of them can. 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 Woo-hoo. But what they can't do is you got to get the ice cream. There's lots of companies out there that have great ice cream. Go partner with Ben & Jerry's. Go partner with Baskin & Robbins. Go partner with Cold Stone. You think they wouldn't want Cold Stone on the side of your little moped as you're driving down the road serving up ice cream? They would love it. Maybe they're the ones that do it. And now you make the franchisees buy the, the ice cream from you. Maybe it's some no-name ice cream company that could help you. But you have to put some pieces to the puzzle and you have to get this stuff. So again, this, the moral to this story is... Get advice from others before you get in front of check writers, before you have the opportunity to present. Get with some people, ask, mastermind, talk it over, get a plan, have a solid plan to make it work. So if you don't have a plan, if you need help getting a plan, you need to get your plan. And on this webpage, there's a little button that says need investors, click it. If you're not on if you're seeing this on the internet, you gotta go to sharktanktvshow.com. And if you need investors, Come to SharkTankTVShow.com. We'll help you find investors. This is Greg Greider saying, I'll see you at the top. <laughs>